He is known for his prominent membership in the St. Simonian community and co-founding the newspaper Le Globe. He is recognized for introducing the term socialism in French political discourse and publishing the philosophical manifesto of the humanitarians. His name is Pierre Leroux. Pierre Leroux, a philosopher, writer, and politician, lived a life filled with intellectual exploration and activism. Born into a modest family, Leroux's education was cut short when his father passed away, forcing him to support his mother and siblings. He worked as a mason and later as a compositor, but his thirst for knowledge led him to join the Saint Simonian community, becoming an influential member of their movement. However, Leroux eventually distanced himself from the sect when its new leader advocated for the emancipation of women and unconventional religious practices. In 1834, Leroux published an essay titled Individualism and Socialism, which introduced the term socialism into French political discourse. This work showcased his skepticism towards both individualism and socialism, demonstrating his unique perspective. In 1838, Leroux co-founded the Encyclopédie Nouvelle with Jean Reynaud, publishing articles that challenged prevailing ideologies such as equality and eclecticism. But it was in 1840 that Leroux truly made his mark with the publication of his treatise, De El Humanite. This comprehensive exposition of his system became the Philosophical Manifesto of the Humanitarians, a movement that sought to promote the well-being of humanity as a whole. Leroux's ideas were influential not only in philosophy but also in literature. He collaborated with renowned author George Sand and inspired her works, including Spiridion and Consuelo. Leroux also engaged in a philosophical dispute between F.W.J. Schelling and the young Hegelians, receiving praise from Schelling and criticism from Hegel's disciple Karl Rosenkranz. Despite his intellectual pursuits, Leroux was not content with solely theorizing. In 1843, he established a printing association based on his systematic ideas in Boussac and founded the Revue Sociale. When the revolution of 1848 erupted, Leroux proclaimed the Republic in Boussac and became its mayor. He was subsequently elected to both the Constituent Assembly and the Legislative Assembly, where he championed radical socialist ideas. However, Leroux's opposition to Louis Bonaparte led to his exile after the coup d'état of 1851. He sought refuge in Jersey with his family, where he continued his intellectual pursuits and ventured into agricultural experiments. Even in exile, Leroux's influence extended beyond borders, as Karl Marx nominated him for the Central Committee of the International Workingmen's Association. After the definitive amnesty of 1869, Leroux returned to Paris. His legacy as a philosopher, writer, and political activist left an indelible mark on French intellectual history. Leroux's contributions continue to inspire and provoke thought, showcasing his dedication to seeking truth and justice for humanity. Pierre Leroux, a renowned philosopher and a protagonist in our narrative, had a unique and profound philosophical principle known as the triad. He believed that this triplicity, which he found to pervade all things, was the fundamental essence of existence. Leroux described this triad as, power, intelligence, and love, in God, and, sensation, sentiment, and knowledge, in man. This principle formed the core of his philosophy and shaped his perspective on various aspects of life. Leroux, who was described as a Protestant, held a pantheistic religious doctrine. He rejected the traditional belief in a future life as commonly conceived and instead proposed a theory of metempsychosis, emphasizing the concept of the soul's transmigration. In his view, the soul evolves and experiences multiple lives, gaining wisdom and spiritual growth through each incarnation. In the realm of social economy, Leroux recognized the existence of despotism within the family, country, and property. However, he believed that these oppressive structures could be eliminated through certain combinations. Leroux envisioned a society where families would exist without a dominant head, countries would function without traditional forms of governance, and property would be devoid of the right of possession. His solution aimed to establish a more egalitarian and harmonious social order. In politics, Leroux advocated for absolute equality, embracing a democratic ideology. He saw democracy as a means to dismantle existing hierarchies and power structures, enabling every individual to have an equal voice and influence in decision-making processes. Leroux's vision of democracy sought to empower individuals and foster a society based on cooperation and shared responsibility. Leroux's philosophy, with its emphasis on the triad and his revolutionary ideas in social economy and politics, continues to hold relevance in our contemporary world. His principles challenge us to question existing power dynamics, strive for equality, and envision alternative ways of organizing society. By embracing Leroux's philosophy, we can seek to create a world where power, intelligence, and love coexist, and where sensation, sentiment, and knowledge flourish in harmony. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next?
Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.